Alright, so where are we? Currently we are at the Hat Lake Overlook, but more generally we're in Lassen Volcanic National Park and today. What's going on with the kitties that has you worried? Well, we're taking a different kind of trip today. Normally in a national park we'd be hiking, 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 but today we've got our kitties with us. And so we're taking a scenic drive. And the kitties are either totally fine and taking a nap or they're in distress. Uh, I think Solar is convincing me that he's more in the napping zone. Kind of hot in the car. I mean, Cloudy doesn't look distressed, does he? I think they're just napping. I think they're just napping. This is our first really long trip with the cats and so we're learning as we go what is a happy traveling cat and what is an upset traveling cat. And what is a cat that is about to barf on the floor? I think we've just about got that one nailed, huh, Miles? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Miles is getting to be a champion cat puke cleaner upper. If right I had now? a badge to give out for that, Miles would have earned it. driven to the highest point in the park that you can on a road. You could still hike up from here, but we can't do that with kitties. So we're gonna use the kitties as our excuse <laughs> to drive on back down to our campsite. 71 degrees up here, that's way better than our campsite. This is really nice. It's been hot so far and that's been kind of a challenge. Keeping the kitties cool has been a priority. We're learning as we go, I would say, yeah. Everything has been melting. Yeah, our treats are melting. Our treats are melting. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Melting. Wow. That, that is melting. Yeah. <laughs> We're camping in Shingletown, which is close to the entrance at the northwest corner of the park near Manzanita Lake. We are only driving half of the Lassen Peak Highway. Um, we could, from this point, we could continue downhill and head towards. Um, some of the more well-known trailheads that have a lot of the geothermal activity, the bubbling pots of mud and things like that. I think we're going to skip that today just because we're not sure if the cats are happy or unhappy. If you are not a hiker or if you're in a place where you can't hike because you've got um, cats or some other pets with you, um, this is a great way to see Lassen Park and if we had a little more time or if we were a little more confident in camping with our cats I think we would finish up this drive. But well, we could have left our cat in the trailer but we're not confident doing that yet either because we could have left the AC on in the trailer and left mm -hmm. the cats there and then come up here and done some hikes and got back to the cats. Right and I would say that after a few more days of this if this wasn't day two of our epic summer adventure I feel like we might be more confident in that. So We'll head down, uh, back the way we came.
like a quail snail. So this hike uh, is, I think, our first eight scenery hike. This is a one difficulty eight scenery hike. Uh, if you turn around, I would, uh, I would say I disagree with eight scenery. What do you think? I'd say it's at least a nine scenery. Yeah. I'd, I'd say it's a ten. Yeah, certainly. I'd say it's eight compared to other hikes we've gone on. Okay, which hikes are you thinking of that like this doesn't quite measure up to? Like um, Tacopa Falls and uh -huh. Rock. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, this is a this is a quieter sort of spectacularness, isn't it? So, Manzanita Lake hike. What did you think? Really good. Um, it was a pretty good hike, and uh, we saw some people canoeing. Yeah, that looked fun. That looked fun. We saw a bunch of cool creatures. We saw lots of Canada geese. We saw a deer just completely relaxing. I think I saw a flicker. I'm going to have to check um, iNaturalist to confirm. We saw a red winged blackbird. We saw some ducks. So this was a three person hike. Daddy's back at the uh, campground with Cloud and Solar, keeping them cool in the Alto. This is probably our last hike in Lassen Volcanic National Park. We're going to go back and do some swimming and stuff at the campground and then tomorrow we head to Crater Lake. Stayed at our first campsite now. Yeah, are we all packed up? Well, we got, the, we got the trailer hitched up. We still have some things that could fall in the trailer them. that we need to secure before we leave. So, three nights at Lassen. Any thoughts, reviews? Um, not that bad. Um, I liked the pool. It was pretty fun. One day we had like it all to ourselves. Mm -hmm. One day there was some people. And um, there was also the playground with the spinny thing. Mm -hmm. Merry-go-round. Uh, if you ever come here, check it out. Highly um, recommended. And the bathrooms are pretty cool too. Also, the dishwashing station is amazing. Yeah, and that's from a professional dishwasher. Now, why did we use a dishwashing station instead of our Alto? Because there wasn't like that there, much there water. There was no here. no sewer hookup where yeah, we no sewer where we reserved. Yeah, so our first time camping um, in the Alto without sewer hookups, and we've been here for three nights, and we're at what's what are our stats on our tanks? Um. The gray tank is at 50%, and the black tank is at 30? Yeah, we, so we did really well, but we, we also used the bathrooms a lot. We're at the um, KOA in outside Lassen in Shingletown, and it's, I would say it's a very nice campsite. These spaces have been very spacious. We've got lots of room here. Um, it's been very quiet. I've, we've had really very great neighbors. What about the cat's eye hike? That was pretty fun. Um, the cat's eye hike, basically when it's very dark, um, you could just take a flashlight and shine it on the trees. And some trees have reflecting eyes and you just follow them and they lead to a place um, which uh, has more, more than one eye. Uh, we really enjoyed the cat's eye hike. The pool was very nice. They have a great playground. If you have dogs, there's a really cool dog playground. There's a birding area, which I've never seen at a campground before. I saw at the birding area some doves, some robins, um, some juncos like we have at home, and jays, and I think a little chickadee, but I still haven't gotten them into iNaturals. Oh, and the Wi-Fi here. Yeah, they say it's not so great, but it was pretty great. It Some was of the best good. Wi Fi we've had. We were yeah. able to watch a YouTube video last yeah. night. I was able to play like Minecraft online. Yeah. It's pretty good Wi Fi for a camping site. Yeah. And it's high pixel, Minecraft. High pixel. Yeah. So. so, you know. Do you want to tell them about all the hiding places the kitties found in the outside? Yes, outtail? they oh. found so, so many hiding places. This spot under the bed over here, which goes down when we put the top down, is. Plenty big enough for two cats to stay under there as long as they like. Also, um, and be totally storage. unreachable to the people in the trailer. The storage place over here, you can you can yeah. take it up or slide this, and they can get in and 
Yeah, um, but we have that covered up now. They, they basically do don't come out until they until they get hungry. Okay, so any other thoughts on Lawson, or shall we wrap up and head to our next spot? I think I give it um, yeah, give a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? I give Very it a 10 nice. out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, so we are on an epic three-week trip here. This is our first stop. This is the first three nights. Um, next we're going to Crater Lake. Next we're headed to Crater Lake. I feel like we're going to get really good at setting up and taking so, down the Alto. I think you're right. We're probably going to see you at Crater Lake. All right. All right. So we'll see you on the road.